Okay, so here we have the uh, Microsoft Explorer Mini Mouse with Blue Track technology. Uh, it's brand new in the box. I'm just going to open it and see uh, what we've got here and show you how it all works. Not that it should really be all that difficult. Leave that to the side for a minute. Makes it a bit easier. Microsoft make it almost impossible to get their products out of their packaging. Okay. So, that's the packaging gone. We've got the mouse itself. The little receiver. Got a little carrying pouch here. Should, uh, Keep the scratches off the mouse. Driver CD, which I assume we won't need. Um, we got just some useless information there, and the product got. All right, and of course a battery. Right, so what I might just do here take off the uh, little sticker, doesn't mean much. Open the battery door. Just gonna make sure this little battery thing is alright. up instantly. Alright, so there we go, we're all ready to go. We plug the uh, receiver into the back, which turns off. Pretty nifty feature, but um, if you want to keep the receiver in your computer and you want the mouse to turn off, I guess that's not going to happen. So you have to res remove the uh, USB receiver, put it back in the little slot in the back of the mouse to actually turn it off. Excuse me, fumbling around here. All right. Okay, well let's go ahead and plug it in. Just going to move it's over here. You can see how it goes. Alright, so, a little USB slot over here. So I'm installing this on Windows 7. release candidate, Windows 7, should work with no worries. First time installation will always take a little while with drivers of any device that are 
after that, when you unplug and replug in the uh, USB device, it should be pretty instant. Okay, there we go. So, we'll uh, restart later because it appears that the mouse works fine for me. I only want the basic functions. Let's uh, see that we can scroll the page. We've got a web page open here. Yep, so that scrolls fine. Let's just, uh, yep, the center click works as it should. And we've got back and forward. So we've got left click, right click, center click, and scroll, of course. And we've got back and forward, which I assume would be programmable if you install the uh, accompanying software. Okay, let's just uh, unplug it. Yep, she's not working. We'll plug it back in. It's taking a second, but yep, as soon as we hear the beep, we're firing away. It's nice and ergonomic. Uh, I don't see left handers having too much trouble using this mouse, except for the uh, your third finger getting stuck on the um, the back and forth. Could repetitively hit the uh, the back button. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. After two minutes of use, of course. It's better than not having anything.